all right guys welcome to my youtube channel this is uh, miami automobile i have with me here range rover 2017 uh, yeah i've done this video before in 2019 20 range rover where i removed the doormat all right guys let me show you guys uh how i'm going to be removing the doormat on this car and then um also the engine whining so uh, i'm having problem with the engine whining on both sides so guys but i will be removing i will show the video on this one then i'll also come after removing the doormat i will show you how to remove the engine whining also or i can also do the video at the same time all right guys so let's go let me show you where and where i will be here you have screws we have screw here so i need to take off this i need to take off this As you can see, we have a stair line key here. Then we have another one here. We have another screw here. Then, guys, we have another screw under here. I don't know if you can see it. Then uh, we have, so I need to come to this side and uh opened here and we have other two screw let me see if you can see it we have screw here and then we have another screw here so here are the two screw all right guys let's go um let me start from here where are you all right guys uh here we go the second one is here so guys, I'm using a T30. I'm using T30. Guys, we go. Alright guys, after that you just pull your screwdriver, pick it up, come to this side the same thing, do the same thing here. Now you push the top cap it up. And then after that my guys you Take off the key, the lock, then you disconnect the connector, you disconnect the connector. So all right guys, here we go, let me show you the other things, I'm here to remove the engine winer. Okay, I need to disconnect all this connector, I need to disconnect these connectors. Need to disconnect all these connectors, so here we go. Just disconnect this. Don't 
take off all these screws after removing all the screws on the panel so the next we are going to do we have other ones here this is for the engine winder this here and this one here and then we have another one here so i need to take off this i need to take off this before take off this so this is going directly to the engine winder after removing this i think i can take off this one so we have a gum that is holding the door mat so you have to gradually pull it out you have to just pull it gradually it's coming out and then you take off this so you can just keep this one aside or if you want to you can also disconnect the cable from the panel so but i'm not doing that so guys this is the engine winder this is the engine winder so this is the screw that is holding it down here and then the one i just removed from here the one i just removed from here that's the one that goes in here sorry that's the one that goes in here and uh so i need to take off all these four screw I need to take off all these four screws. One here. We have another one here. Then the two down. Alright guys, just follow the video. Alright guys, before I will lose the last one, I think I need to take off the cable from the engine and uh, there we go. Then we press here and I prefer pushing it. I don't like dragging the wire and the cable. So guys, uh, here we go. Then this is the last screw. All right, guys. Uh, since this is the glass is not whining, so what I'll just do is to take off this. I have to pull out the key backward, and then do the same thing here. And then I need to open it and then take it off. And then take off the engine. This is the cable. This is the cable. Of this, all right, guys. This is the engine. So, guys, if this is your first time watching my YouTube channel, this is my to mobile. So, this is how you remove your engine winder. So, I will also show you when I want to install it. So, guys, if this is your first time watching my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is my to mobile. Subscribe, like my video, share my video, and thanks for watching.